Science 4 Quarter 2 Week 4 Milk Base Let's learn about Specialized Structures in Plants Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Science 4, we will discuss about specialized structures in plants. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Identify the specialized structures of terrestrial and aquatic plants. In our previous lesson, you have learned about the different body parts of animals that they use for adaptation and survival. These body parts have specific functions that they use for food consumption, movement, and protection. There are animals that live on land and animals that live in water. Animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals, and animals that live in water are called aquatic animals. Plants, like animals, also live on land and in water. Plants that live on land are called terrestrial plants, while those that live in water are called aquatic plants. Plants, unlike animals, can make their own food through a process called photosynthesis. Plants exist in different kinds and sizes. There are big and small plants. Some plants have woody trunk, while others have soft and herbaceous stem. Forest plants grow tall and sturdy. Let us discuss about terrestrial plants. Plants have common body parts, but there are certain structures that enable plants to function at certain conditions. The body parts that are common to plants are their stems, leaves, roots, and flowers. However, there are specialized structures that help plants adapt and survive to their environment. Specialized structures are unique parts of plants that enable them to live longer despite certain conditions they are in. Other plants bear flowers, and some do not. These are called flowering plants, and non-flowering plants. Terrestrial plants grow on different places. Some plants grow directly on the soil, while few are seen on the rocks. Other plants cling on the fence. These plants are called vines or climbers. Vines have stems which require support and climb by tendrils or creeps along the ground or by the stem of such plant. Some plants grow on field. These are rice, corn, and wheat. Shapes and sizes of the leaves are also important. Plants like bananas have big, broad leaves to efficiently get energy from the sun. Plants have also waxy leaves to prevent them from dehydration as a result of too much exposure to the sun. Some plants are able to retain or store water especially in the desert. Cactus plants is an example of desert plant. The roots of the plants also play big role for survival. They have also different shapes and sizes. These characteristics are always based on the purpose. Let us discuss about aquatic plants. Aquatic plants are plants that live on and in water. These are called hydropythes. And now, let us do learning task 1. Study the two pictures. Describe these two plants by completing the table below. 
The name of plants for letter A is water lily. And the name of plants for letter B is water cabbage. The stem of water lily is soft and tiny. And the stem of water cabbage is none. The roots of water lily is tuberous root system. And water cabbage is numerous roots. Water lily leaves is heart shaped like and waxy coated leaves. Water cabbage leaves is cup like leaves. Water lily flower is cup like flower. And water cabbage, no flowers. Learning Task 2 Based on the given plant pictures, identify the specialized structures and their possible use. Plant name Rose Specialized structure Thorn Use Protection from consumers Next Plant name Water lily Specialized structures Waxy coated leaves Use To float Next Plant name Cactus Specialized structures Store water in stems Use Their source of food for hot place Next Plant name Onions Specialized structures Bulb Use Store energy for photosynthesis Next Plant name Sweet potato Specialized structures Tubers Use Store energy And then last Plant name Strawberry Specialized structures Short thickened stem Use Used to make medicine Remember Plants have common body parts but there are certain structures that enable plants to function at certain conditions. The body parts that are common to plants are their stems, leaves, roots, and flowers. However, there are specialized structures that help plants adapt and survive to their environment. Specialized structures are unique parts of plants that enable them to live longer despite certain conditions they are in. So kids, did you understand our lesson today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!